wanted to talk today about defining closure. What is it? What is a lack of closure? Why we need it? And what to do when we don't get it? So let's start with what it is. Closure is knowing why a romantic relationship has ended so that you can process it and no longer feel emotional attachment to that person or any pain. And that way you can move on to create a new healthier relationship in the future. So the closure part is knowing why did it end so we can move on. What is a lack of closure? A lack of closure is when a relationship starts to peter out slowly or it ends abruptly with no explanation from the person you're dating or in a relationship with and we don't get closure. We don't know why. We're left wondering a lot of things. So let's talk about why we need it. Why do we need closure? Well, it feels awful when we feel rejected in any way without an explanation. We understand our world through connecting the past, the present, and the future. And without closure, we can't connect what happened with how we feel now with what we want in the future. So we're left making up stories about what could we have said or done to make things right. We get all up in our head and it can be really crazy making. Let me know if that's ever happened to you. I know it's happened to me before I knew how to process all of this. So when we are up in our head and we're doubting ourselves and we're making it about something we did wrong, we begin to lose our trust in the decisions we make about how we choose a romantic partner. And many of us shut down our hearts. We put up guards because it no longer feels safe to go out there and date again. So we develop these great lives with our friends and we travel and we have fun and all of that is fabulous. But if we want a partner, we can't be shut down. And so we have to do something instead. So we first need to give closure to our partners. So it, we have to always look back at us. Do we give proper closure to our romantic partners? And I advocate trying to be as clear as possible and as kind as possible as to why the relationship did not work and then wish them well. We often go into long explanations at the end. And my feeling is if you have good communication, you have been communicating all along. And if you have asked for what you want and you're not getting it, or if you set some boundaries and the boundaries have been pushed, then it's not a big question as to why it's ended. You really tried to make it work. You were clear. You were kind, right? And you wish them well. But we don't always have a partner who gives that to us. So how do we give ourselves closure when we don't get it from someone else? So if we do not get it, I want you to ask yourself, instead of saying, what could I have done better? What could I, what, what did I say wrong? What did I do? How could I, I need to have that last conversation. Ask yourself a better question. Is this the type of man that I imagined him to be? Is this the type of man that I imagined would treat me so unkindly? So you can ask yourself, is the future that I imagine with, with this man is that does did that future include a lack of clear and kind communication? Right? So really get clear like did I want somebody who didn't communicate kindly? Did I want somebody who wasn't clear with me? Did I want somebody who would just walk away from me without even telling me why? And I hope your answer is no. <laughs> and if it is, then you can begin to see that the person that you might have imagined is somebody that he's not. So be kind to yourself. And if you start to, you know, get into self beat up, forgive yourself for trusting somebody who has now hurt you. And for your own closure, you also might want to write him a letter expressing how hurt you were by his actions. Thank him for all the good that you had in the relationship. And, and this can be for short or long term. 
thank him for helping you learn what to pay attention to next time. All the red and yellow flags, not to push them under the rug. And do not send it. This is for you to just really express clearly for yourself what it is that you're feeling, what you have learned from him, and you want to be able to move on. So you want to get all of this out so you're not carrying it with you. So you can put this relationship to rest and remind yourself that sometimes things just don't work out. Sometimes there is really nothing wrong with you or your partner. There's nothing you could have done differently. Feelings sometimes fade. I felt it. I'm sure you felt it. You know, nothing particular happens. It's just, it's not, it's not there. You're trying really hard to make something work, but something's missing. And it might not feel fair to you and it might hurt, but you are okay. And when you give yourself closure, you begin to build a new story for yourself. A story where you know that this man was your teacher and he was an important step to move you closer towards a relationship with the partner that you are meant to be with. <music>